I'm starting to get a bounty of tomatoes now um, from the garden. And so what I'm going to do today is um, I'm going to try a new product. Um, normally what I would do to make my mom's tomato juice is cook everything on the stove in a big pot and then use her old-fashioned food mill, which I dearly love, but use her food mill to squish it all through and get some nice thick tomato juice, which is almost like a tomato soup to us. Um, but today I'm going to try a new product. It's called the, I believe it's pronounced Cucina Pro tomato strainer. So what I'm going to do is put it all together. We're going to see how easy that is. I'm going to put it together and cook up the tomatoes and we're going to see if it actually makes quick work of the tomatoes. So I'm just chunking up tomatoes. I'm coring them and then chunking them up in this big pot. But I wanted to show you something. You see those little tomatoes? I didn't, I didn't buy little tomatoes bell-shaped, pear-shaped, I think they're called pear tomatoes. I didn't buy those plants. Uh, I don't know if this has ever happened to you before, but I bought tomato plants at a greenhouse, and I don't know if some people just think it's funny to switch the labels or what, but surprise, I got um, a pear tomato plant, so I'm chucking that up along with all of the others. Well, I probably won't be able to fit them all in this pot, but, um, yeah, surprise. So this is the pot of tomatoes, all chunked up, nice, fresh. Some of them were even still a little warm from picking them out of the garden a bit ago. So nice and fresh. Another way to use up an, a big, nice big onion from your garden, you want to chunk that up in there too, just kind of rough chop it in big chunks. It's all going to cook down. We're going to... Cook this down with probably over a medium to medium low heat over 40, about 45 minutes um, until the onions are translucent is basically how you want to go. And most of the tomatoes have been broken down and there's just basically skin left. So we're going to do that. And while that's cooking, I'm going to try to put together this tomato press and we can check it out. So here's all the parts to the tomato press and this lovely little book with <laughs> pictures on how to put it together. We'll just see how this goes. I wish you guys could smell it in here. It smells wonderful with the tomatoes and the onions cooking on the stove. Um, so let's get started trying to put this together. So here is the crusher, I guess. It says fit two pieces with spring. There's a spring. Into crusher as shown, but it's not really showing. Oh, well, I guess it's already in there. All right, place the lid onto top of crusher which I'm assuming is yes it's this piece okay slide top down onto base as shown okay here's the base it is a suction base which I may have to replay change the place of this but we'll try it. Nope. Maybe I need to do it here. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. We're going to wet this thing. Okay. I wet the bottom. Hopefully now we got it going on. Okay, we're going to uh, try that again in a minute. 
but first, and it looks like now I've got the rubber coming out. Maybe that was, maybe that was the problem. Okay, so apparently this is the top, and it slides into the into the base like that. Okay, we got that going for us. Uh, now it says screw the crusher into the funnel. Not today. Okay, I'm guessing when you have tomatoes in there, it's a little better. Okay. Using your tomato strainer. Use the suction base to secure your juicer to a table or flat surface. Place a container, not included, under the side spout to catch the ejected pulp and seeds that are separated from your puree as you use your juicer. Add tomato to the funnel at the top. Use your pusher to crush the tomatoes. We shouldn't have any problem with that because ours are going to be cooked way down, but rotate the handle to crush the tomatoes and juice them. The pulp and seeds will simultaneously eject from the side spout into the container you placed on the so I'm envisioning this going like this and the juice coming out there. Okay, it doesn't seem too bad. Uh, now if we can just figure out how to get it suctioned to the table. Because that ain't working. Oh wait, hold up. It's solid. I had to pull the lever one way and then back the other way. Now we are solid people. Okay, so we got this, got this. So I've got this all set up now. My tomatoes are cooked. And what I want to show you is like, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it's mostly just like skin left. There's maybe a little bit of pulp in there, but the onions are translucent. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and see how this works. I don't want to scream, but if juice starts flying everywhere, I might. So just a little warning. So what I've done, a couple things I've done. I switched out the, the pan for this bowl because um, it's smaller on the bottom, so I can actually get it closer in. So hopefully that'll keep things from not hitting the right spot. And then I've got my other pan here, and then I've got this that I'm going to empty this pan into. And I got my ladle. So this should be quite interesting. Okay, so we're just going to start. Already we're making a mess, but hey, you know, it's cooking, right? We are not pros here. Some of the juice coming out already. Oh, it looks like this little hopper thing holds quite a bit of Tomato, so I guess that's good. All 
right, let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna move this out of the way so you can kind of see, so I can remember which way I'm going this way. Okay, here we go. I don't know if you can see this right here on the handle, but that sucker's leaking. So I think what I'm gonna do is, da da da. Do you want another bowl to put under it? Just in case? Not right now, I think so. So you don't have to keep wiping it? Well, I'm just gonna fold this up and let it soak up. We'll see how that works. Okay, so we're gonna keep going. Before this gets too full, I'm going to transfer it, which I we're gonna put this through again. See what happens. Kind of hard to get it lined up, I must say. Oh yeah, we're getting a more juice out of there now. Okay, so there we've got dry pulp. There's no like juice in the bottom of that or anything. Pretty excited about that. I'm gonna undo this so you can see the the hopper is pretty much empty. Now we're gonna pour this off again in our graceful way that we did earlier. And if you see in here, I'll show you this. This is our fresh tomato juice, but I am noticing. I don't know if you can see that, but there's still a few like really small seeds in there. Not terrible, but had I done this in a food mill, I wouldn't have any seeds in there. So that is this fun little tomato press. Now it's time to season our tomato juice. All right, so here we have our pressed tomatoes and it is so good warm. What I usually do to season this then is um, I, I add about a teaspoon to begin with. You don't wanna over season it. You don't wanna have too salty. And you can cook other vegetables with your tomatoes too. So like you could cook carrots in there, you can cook celery in there and um, make more like a V8 and maybe even add some black pepper. That would probably be good too. So I'm just gonna have a clean hand. No, not enough. Yep, could pour this in a mug right now and just drink it right down. So there you have it. Tomato juice. See you next time.